it's um, me tapping the car, trying to get them to alert, I'm flying around the car. And so, push. I don't know that's
all into one headlight. So there is no routine. Oh, this is a, if you go in thinking it's one headlight, I'm just going to stop, put them a warning, get out of here. That's when you get yourself hurt. You have to go in there thinking, okay, I've stopped at this car. There could be drugs in there. There could be guns in there. There could be bad people in there. You never know. You know, Every stop is different. I've had stops where as soon as I hit the lights, I had a passenger bail out. He's gone. I had to get on the radio. I still got two in the car. I've got, I got the gun out. I'm giving the commands, hands on the roof, because I don't know why that guy's bailing. People run to get away from bad stuff in that car, whether it be guns, drugs, they got warrants, whatever. So I'm paying attention to them. It was next to an apartment building. I'm paying attention to the people that have now come out because everyone likes to watch the blue light, red, blue lights, to see what's going on, put it on Snapchat, whatever. <laughs> so I'm dealing, I'm worrying about them. I'm worrying about the apartment building. I'm worrying if that guy that just ran is now circling the building to come back around and try to ambush me. So I'm giving my other officers, hey, he went northbound towards, towards First Avenue. This is what he's wearing. That way they can get there. And then I'm holding them there until I have other officers there that we can get them out and figure out what's going on. Because if he ran, oh well, I'm not chasing him. If I know I got other people because I want what's in that car, well, other officers are gonna get that guy. If it's just the driver that ran, I might go, I'm probably gonna go after him because I can kind of see, okay, there's no one in the car, I'm going after the other guy. Most of the time, multiple occupants are staying with that car because that's really good stuff's gonna be.